Hello. All right. So, um, this video, I mean, um, this game is called Zeno On. I decided to replay it a second time. Um, the difference, the reason why I'm playing replaying this game, um, because I thought it would be fun to incorporate, um, my discord server members as the soldiers um so i've been updating them on the my journey in the game um through images and text description so one of the members then um he suggested that uh, i should instead show a video you know i guess going that that's a good suggestion actually but um i mean going video i can show a lot more i can explain a lot more the only the only drawback okay or for me uh, would be a lot of video editing and processing you know cutting footage joining them back you know, and coming up uh, with the final product and also making sure that my sound with the with the mic with my neighbor with the construction work with my family walking around and my dog here you know making sure that the audio level is at a appropriate level an okay level uh, and i also must remember to speak louder okay i do not want to sound muffled okay so yeah so um so i decided to go with the video instead so hopefully um they will enjoy it more i hope uh oh yeah so right okay so back to this game so xeno on so um if you have not played xcom series xcom franchise before um it's a turn-based strategy game uh where we battle with aliens uh, uh ufos okay to protect the earth from the invasion okay so um xenons is developed by gold hawks gold hawks if i'm not mistaken all right um it was one aside from them i think there were other developers i think another one the most um most successful or should i say in the triple a category is Firaxis. Uh, I believe there was one more. I can't recall. So, um, Xenon was, I would say, a good, a good attempt. Um, the difficulty, it's a bit. Uh, mm, uh, yeah, that's how I I will explain it. All right. Um, for those who have played Xenon, you will know that the difficulty, the it comes at night mission that's one and uh you know every mission that you go or every every uh alien ufo crash that you go the placement of the alien that's one thing and the aggression i guess you can say that okay um so okay if you take away all that cheap tricky placement if you take away the night missions without this then this product is kind of similar or more similar to Firaxx XCOM series okay, no night missions no limitation of the field site okay no aliens trying to shoot you from outside of the the fog the FOV view FOV the fog of war okay no reapers suddenly popping out from miles away and your unit becomes zombie yeah. uh, right. but you know uh, I, I, you know yeah those are cheap designs but uh, it is very painful it is very frustrating and annoying uh, but it's part part of part of the design part of the game that actually makes it enjoyable okay you have to put up with those kind of challenge to enjoy this game you know, you know your shield bearers getting blown up to bits by the alien grenades 
opening a door and seeing an RPG to your face, pitchy ba boom, you know, or aliens rushing to your chopper into your chopper, what the crap? Yeah, all those. So yeah, um, it can be fun. Um, for me, I think that's fun. Of course, it's very painful but fun. So I decided to replay this and include my uh, uh, Discord server members. All right. So um, the date today in the game is 17 April 1980. I'm not sure how long that is uh, compared when you first started the game. I guess you know. I'm not sure how many years that is, but I'm sure I'm in the late game now. Okay. Um, two months ago, I guess in 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 game two months ago, I think I just unlocked the the final final stages of the experiment. The the tier four weapons, tier four armors. Okay, so you know once you reach late game, those aliens are going to throw in every big guns that they have at you, and I'm 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 at their receiving end. Okay, uh, but still good so far. All right, so this is the Earth Earth map. All right, the countries. Yes, I lost Australia. Okay, so. Okay, so my first base that I decided to build was Crab Zero One. It's in Northern Africa. Okay, I didn't know what to name my base. I just named it as Crab Dash Zero One, and I have so far five crab bases now. Okay. Um. Okay. In the let me just recap roughly what I can remember from the uh, my early games up to this point. Okay. So my first base. Uh. Yeah, your first base placement, it, it it's a bit tricky, or uh, yeah, it is tricky because it's so big the map you don't even know where to cover. So you you just have to make a, a a choice, okay? So I decided to cover right in the middle here. At the very least, I'm covering one country. Okay, let's say one continent. Okay, let's say one, two, three. Four, four, five and a half, six and a half, at least four. Okay, why is this important? Okay, if you notice on the top right hand side corner here, you can see under the key information. You see every country, every continent. You know, you, you have your region or every region. Okay, you have your region relationship and the funding level. Okay, so here if you if you manage to uh, thwart, uh, uh, I mean protect the region from the alien attacks, you are getting a funding level of, uh, oh, of course, this is at, at the excellent level at five hundred k. Okay, that money goes to into your budget. Okay, for you to use in the next month. All right, so four hundred k, and this is max out relationship, super Northern Africa. All right, so Europe is only good. Yeah, Soviet Union, excellent. Okay, seven hundred k. You see, seven hundred k, and that's this is one one region you do not want to lose. Seven hundred k is a big chunk of money and a lot of things you can do with it. Okay, so uh, Middle East, three hundred forty k. Indochina, Asia. 200k Australia okay uh, that you don't have to see all right so I decided to start off with right in the middle crap zero one okay so because you start off when you when you start off okay do you see the three circles I'll, I'll just put on top of crap zero one you notice or maybe somewhere else let you can you see three circles three line circle all right okay what the circles means is is actually the area which you can cover by your radar okay if you notice crap zero five it, it's like one square and there's no circles all right that's because i haven't built any radars yet okay you can build up to three radar three radar means it gives you the biggest coverage as as big as crap zero one so this coverage means these are the area which you can protect so you need fighters uh, planes jets to protect this area 
so only crab 01 has three radar this is the biggest circle you can see okay the rest are only two radars okay so in the early days i made it here and then of course the aliens were uh, harassing the other regions outside of my radar um so i think at that at the moment at that point of time i remember uh, south america and central america this side uh, they were getting harassed pretty bad so that's why i built a base over here to to, to protect them unfortunately i was too late or oh, can i can i say too late i mean okay so crab zero one i covered here crab zero two i managed to cover here okay uh, so soviet union on this this side this right hand side hemisphere near the asia side they were getting harassed from time to time as well um so after securing crab zero two i went crab zero three unfortunately by the time i went there i lost australia okay um it's, it i think the aliens sent in a bombardment ship so yeah you can see here casualty 30k um my <laughs> is beyond <laughs> my regions the the radar scope or cover i couldn't even send my my fighter jets over so tough luck i guess pretty unlucky for me so after that bombardment australia just pulled out from the the, the this project Xenon. on so i lost them i lost one con one region so one two and three so i guess um i i don't know whether i should i say lucky or should i say unlucky that i lost australia because like like i said i remember uh south america and central america they were getting harassed pretty badly so i built a base here okay i and yeah i wanted i needed to secure soviet union because they were giving 700k so let me see even if i get a third three radar i could only cover the northern hemisphere of australia so um by the time i set up crap zero three oh yeah by then i lost australia then this this side the north america they were getting harassed by the aliens pretty badly okay you see the relationship now is still bad okay it, 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 any if if they if they get harassed more you become poor and poor poor is a state where you you're at the risk of losing that that region that funding okay i i didn't want to lose them so um yeah eventually i made crap four here so you you i guess you must be wondering why did i build crap four like one side instead of right in the middle so <laughs> it's it's a good question i i also had that d dilemma where i wanted to build my my base when uh, to to protect north america you see when you when you build a base all right the first circle is your represents your first radar second circle second radar and third third, third circle your third radar right so no matter no matter where i play all right i couldn't cover the entire region the, the continent the country the, the, this whole area okay if i place right in the middle of course i i will be covering the the mainland portion well i was concerned because the this side here the top ice part i mean yes uh, the aliens would, would come and disturb this part here um they will stray for uh, what fishing village or what ufo sightings and stuff like that so i <laughs> i really didn't know where to place my base and i just went with my gut feeling actually it's not a strategy strategic move so i decided to build crab four right here to cover the right hemisphere of uh, north america um, it, it's a gamble actually because if if i were to lose north america i believe my base would be just uh, terminated wiped off on the map so so 
because if if I build here, the left hemisphere will get harassed. I yeah, that's why I said I basically took a gamble to to put it here. One of the reasons why I decided to put here is also to support zero crap zero two and and vice versa. So at least the fighter jets they can share certain radius around here. You know they can travel. Okay, and in the event that if any UFO is coming to crab zero and fleeing away north at least crab zero four can cover uh, i was thinking that way that's why i built crab zero four on the right hemisphere okay so i think it was just last month so i got enough funds i built crab zero five so hopefully you yep so on the left hand side of the this this whole this whole part north america uh, Central America and South America, it will be fully covered. Okay, so I guess in two more months' time, I wouldn't worry about them because I have, I have enough fighter jets to cover this entire left hand side of the Earth, planet Earth. My concern now is, crap zero one is getting harassed by aliens. Oh my goodness! Like four, four, four UFO will come. So um. I don't have enough fighter jets at the moment actually. I'm just um, lucky enough that Crab Zero Three have uh, have some fighter jets that can come enter into Crab Zero One's region just right around the circle to help me out. Um, yeah. So um, generally, all right. So uh, generally, yeah, I'm in the late game and this is my base. So let me show you my structure. Crab zero one. Yeah. Um, I have two workshop. Okay, for anyone who play who plays Zeno on before, you notice I don't have my science lab. Okay, where's my science lab? How do you even do research? <laughs> All right. Um, okay, sorry about that. And also, um, if you are able to hear drilling noises. Uh, I'm sorry about that. That's my neighbor. Um, they are doing some. The new owners are doing a lot of renovation work. It's been going on for weeks. Um, I'm just unlucky that they've started resuming the the works now. So bear with me, I guess. All right. Uh, yep. So this is uh, crap zero one. Um, just get all right. So actually, I'm not too happy with the placement of of this radar over here. Um, but due to lack of time, lack of funding, okay, I had to just place it here. Okay, ideally, I would like to place it just right below, if possible. I would like to place it here, nearby three radars and. The quantum cryptology center. That's the end game stuff uh, where you can um, hijack, interpret the UFO, the aliens communication. Uh, co communication, yeah. So what that what that does is that it reveals the UFO purpose on the map. You know when they fly fly around, you um, you can see what aliens are in that. UFO and what's the purpose? Is it bombarding, base attacking, or scouting? You know, stuff like that. So yeah, I would like the radars and the crypto to be all in four squares together, preferably. Okay. So um, my jets, yeah, they don't look sufficient enough. That's why I said I was l lucky enough for. Crab zero two and crab zero three to help me out. Okay, okay. So coming back to crab zero one, I only have two workshop. Okay, in the early stages, I did have one science lab. Okay, um. So here's your science lab, your research, the list of research. So you can see every base that you click, it it you you have access to the research. Okay, so so you don't have. To, uh, how do I say? It's not limited to a base. Okay, as long as you have a science lab in any of these base, 
you can do the research you can help out in the research so that doesn't mean you know your research is limited to one particular base because that's your science lab there no okay you can see here i don't have my science lab in crap zero one okay it's all in crap zero two so why did i place them all here okay so like i said because as long as you have science lab you can do the research the research is shared across all your bases uh -huh. so imagine if i have my science lab here meaning i mean i i mean basically i only have one more slot else i have to give up one of the hangar to have 30 percent of a science lab right so that's definitely not enough space so i decided to make crap zero two as my science lab i mean the science center so i do have a few soldiers here yes because i think um somewhere along the way um the aliens did inv invade i'm not sure it's crap zero two or crap zero three base okay and there was no no soldiers there so it, they just came in walking to the base and my base was gone oh like, what the crap <laughs> so um i had to make a living quarter and allocate some soldiers here i mean it, it's also a gamble um uh, uh, it's a gamble i, I i'm 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 willing to take lah. Um, of course, these soldiers here, they are under equipped as not like the soldiers in Crab Zero One because Crab Zero One is my main base. Okay. Um. Um. Yeah, that's just my simple explanation. Okay. So Crab Zero Two is basically my science lab. All my scientists are here, and right now I'm constructing another third science lab. Um. So if you can see, let me see, is it, okay, my science lab, it's, um, all this end game stuff is taking, um, quite long to research, I, I, if you can say that, okay, because having 30 scientists is, it's not good enough anymore so the end game um stuff like hyperdrive i guess you might need more people so no i'm just going to limit to hopefully at most at most our goal is four science lab so that will mean 15 15 15 15 so uh 60 60 scientists that's it i'm going to that's my maximum okay why do i why why do i say maximum because i'm in a late game now end game now late game end game yeah um the list of things i can research is getting limited it's going to finish and, and once you're finished there's no reason to have science lab there's no reason to have scientists so you're going to demolish all of them and you're going to go workshop okay so because of that that's why i placed my workshop in crap zero one the place where i send my soldiers out so they can get all the gears and stuff okay of course right now with 30 um, uh, engineers okay engineers yeah it's kind of slow okay uh, right now what am i building oh mac carbine okay um that's the most powerful shotgun now with 10 of them it's taking seven days marauder one of the end game fighter jets with 20 percent taking six days six days let me see now it's 17 april uh i'm you'll be lucky if the aliens if you will be lucky if i can finish the marauder interceptor before the alien attack normally the alien attack somewhere in the early of the month and end of the month um i'll i'll, I'll decide um whether i want to allocate reallocate maybe i should allocate yeah five more days sounds uh, more comfortable uh okay yeah so 
okay that's that also i have a medic center medical center here um because i guess well you have a check you check out check out crap zero one hospital bed users seven out of eight um yeah yeah the, the previous mission i took quite a lot of uh took quite a lot of damage there's a lot of people in 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 the um medic medical center now yeah so because i'm because i had to protect three bases all right so and and like i said crap zero two crap zero three the soldiers they're actually you know you, you, as you can see they are not using any high-end end game stuff so it's it's a gamble i'm taking oh my goodness it's raining i'm not sure you can hear um okay so uh, i basically alternate them between bases okay what, what what do i mean is that all right so let's say if if like right now if i i would keep the art members here okay the rest who are getting injured like normally like for instance emma here okay i would transfer her oops i would transfer her to crap zero two okay and then from crap zero two okay i will re reassign someone from there to crap zero one uh, that's what i mean by uh, rotating them okay because i need to train them as well okay uh, so um colonel although this person is a colonel the stats oh oh my goodness it's not good health is so low um as at some point i'll i'll, I'll need to retrain this uh, colonel alba birchman Bergman, Bergman. okay okay um so i guess one of the things for people who play xeno on is that they must be wondering why am i not researching this alien leader integrity interrogation and that's one of the end game stuff so i took uh, some time to level up my art discord member so i don't want to go into the end game yet okay so if you're wondering who are my art discord member all right i see rufi uh, the dj Ruvin, frosty master c then then green Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So far, it's just five. All right. Let me see if you can. Oh, hold on. Oh, um, let me get them to the base. All right. So now, hopefully, okay, they are not injured or they are not. They are not hospitalized. So you can see the stats. So let me start off with ic all right so you will see two different shades of green the light green is the initial starting step of this soldier and the darker green darker shade of green is what uh, the soldier has improved throughout um tr throughout the game from the battles so initially you can see uh ic had high reflex but low accuracy low strength in limited time units okay so i i could have gone with shotgun but i guess i decided to make her into the shield bearer okay what's a shield bearer okay, it's basically oh shield it's basically a soldier with a pistol and shield so she was originally a shield bearer okay right up to the point until she got 70 strength um about 60 accuracy so i converted her into a sniper instead um uh, be because i yeah she had low accuracy i was training her accuracy i i might consider um reassigning her as a as a rifle person instead 
um, we'll see a few more games all right so in the early stages her stats weren't that impressive but after 32 missions wow this is good overall balanced soldier is 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 going to be an elite soldier confirm all right so um next up let's see master c so you see the early stats master c had a lot of time units able to do a lot of things little strength but high accuracy okay low reflex and not much bravery so i guess i originally i assigned master to be a sniper okay um i guess i just want to take advantage of the high accuracy besides he had low reflex you 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 you, you can't train uh, uh you can't train soldiers reflex using a sniper so yeah i guess that explains why his stats looks like this now after 31 missions okay i've been trying to train back his reflex the bravery could improve more i need to retrain but so far it's been good okay i mean the, the accuracy is if if i need uh a sniper he will be my go-to no question asked 100 percent shot hit confirm okay so right now i'm just focusing to level up master's reflex uh yeah the strength will be it is going there but it's slow but my concern now for master will be reflex and bravery uh, that means he needs to fight against uh, how do you pronounce that race Cassian, season those mind controlling sniper toot, toot. Uh, all right okay so that's master so okay next up let's go for dan green so if you can see the early stats the lighter green this was one of the best soldier available so i i just give it to to dan all right so this is a rifle okay it's yes it's impressive the, the stats it's definitely going to be an elite soldier just need a few more games um bravery is okay 81 yeah if I'll, I'll continue to train then um, it's good he, this it's good that's what i can say it's good all right i don't know what else to say i just say it's good yeah so the next character frosty all right if you notice okay okay maybe the the stats is not as impressive as then but in the early games the soldiers available to me um she was Oh, this is considered a good pretty good stats for me just a low reflex so um she has always been my rifle go-to rifle person and oh my goodness 29 games okay 73 kills <laughs> so so yeah after 29 games yep her her stats are pretty good okay um the reflex it's, it's kind of low now I, yeah, I need to retrain train her reflex. Um, she's getting there. Uh, not not as nice. The stats not as nice as then nineties, nineties, eighties. You know. Oh, but she's she's getting there. All right. Okay. So, so yep. So the last person that will be me. That's my soldier. Um. Oh my goodness me. All right. So in the in the early in the early stats. Wow, he had a lot of time units, had a lot of help. Um, decent strength, high accuracy, low reflex. So, well, that's weird. Uh, maybe I guess I wanted to took advantage of the help. Yeah, low strength, so uh, anything from pistol to shotguns would do the trick. Yeah, and low, low reflex as well. So, I've... Um, I've assigned uh, DJ Aruvin to be a shotgun, shotgunner. Uh, unfortunately, I think um, two months, three months, that means maybe uh, probably about six games, I noticed the reflex. It was very, very low. Miserably low. I think 40s, below even, below, below 50s, I think. I had to read I had to train the the reflex only after previous game it hit 60 um, but the rest what 
the crap? <laughs> Hang on, let me have a look. Uh, um, HP, okay, strength, accuracy. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, I just hit. Oh, master. All right. Then, okay, reflex. Uh, then, okay, bravery. Okay. So, so yeah. Um, so, so, um, uh, what is it? That should, um, okay, never mind. So, yeah, so, so those are my Discord members. Um, yeah, just a very few of them. So, I've been training them. Uh, so, okay, let me show you the list of research which I have up so far. I'm just going to s slowly skip through them. So, if you're interested to read the description uh, please pause the video all right i'm just going to glance through um your transport oh i'm still using charlie uh, yeah no late game i mean i'm still using charlie it's a miserable slow chopper uh i need to i need to improve it soon okay uh, i might consider getting sh uh, how do you pronounce it shri 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 k drop ship okay uh, uh -huh. so i'm just going through if you if you're interested to read and see the stats and or read the description please pause the video okay uh, okay so you move from ballistic to laser okay and then you move to plasma all right plasma and then the end game would be your mac the mac technology okay armor basic jackal wolf battle the uh, buzz buzzard the jetpack okay predator yep i've not built this yet because i don't feel like i want to um while it gives a heavy protection the most protection i believe okay this armor gives the most protection but you're only limited to heavy weapons so meaning uh rock uh, rpg uh look at that heavy mini guns i think that's about it right yeah so because i'm still training the soldiers so i do not want to build this armor yet eventually i will okay but not now right now the best suit okay it's that which i'm going for is definitely the sentinel battle suit okay mm, um not i mean like 10 points for the protection but you are able to uh fly jetpack on top roofs you know your, gives you mobility and you have a view cone of 360 degree which is very very important and very useful in night missions all right base structure blah 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 blah, 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 blah. yep okay alien units okay these are so far what i I've, I've encountered i think i managed to capture all of them okay uh, the tooth reapers all right uh the the annoying ha haradin haridin haradan whatever and the most uh, the wraith oh my goodness me i i i i didn't know they had like 200 over hp until the the last terror terror f fight i had oh, what the crap took so much uh plasma weapon to to to, to kill them and yeah, so these are the end game end game units okay. that's one of them and the uh, endron the terminators oh my goodness they took so much ammo it's taking up so much ammo to kill those these things they are so tough ufo so yep yep practically everything everything can snipe you or blow you to pieces that's what i can say 
Okay, alien, te <coughs> alien technology. I think that's not much would interest. But just in case if there's any viewers, so I'm just going through. If you want to read the description, pause the video. Okay. Mm. Yes, and one more thing I forgot to mention, it's the Xenoot Xeno vehicles. I did not build any vehicles, if you notice, okay? Um, the reason is because I want to save costs, and I want to train my soldiers. I will invest into soldiers instead of vehicles. Vehicles in, in some of the early stages when you use, they, are, they can withstand the aliens and a uh, weapon the damage but i think after a while they, they'll just get torn to pieces by all the heavy plasma weapons things like that even grenades can pitch boom them to pieces gone okay so i i i'm no i do not want to build any vehicles yet i'm heavily invested into retraining all the soldiers at some point later on that means after the end game Okay, basically I'm like the super elite once I, I have got everything I will build them and I'll, I'll make video it's fun but of course I need to select a appropriate UFO or appropriate stages to use them uh, I do not want to bring in this is the most basic uh, vehicle I do not want to bring this into into those elite UFO you know where they can just one shot RPG your and your whole vehicle go Wow, gone, wasted. And then how much is this? Purchase cost thirty k. Maintenance cost four thousand. Oh, uh, uh, slightly more than the soldier. Dropship space two. Oh yes. Yeah, so they take up two slot. I'll I'll I'll, I'll show this um in, in the dropship later. What, what it means by dropship space. Um. So yeah, I'm. Saving costs now and retraining heavily, retraining all the soldiers. So I'm not going to build any vehicles. Okay, I'm going to build them later at a very late stage. So I'm going to have a lot of fun with them later on. All right. So these are your uh, vehicle weapons. Okay, very interesting, very interesting choice. That's why I'm saying I'm going to have a lot of fun with them at a later stage. Alright, so now I'm going to show you the dropship, what it means by um, two slot. Na, 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 na. So, uh, your Charlie, let me see, three times one, two, three, four, five, six, six, right? So you have 18. So, that, that can't be right. I believe if, if the tank you should take up. No, that's not right. Hang on. Or maybe I should make a vehicle dropship dropship space two. They can't be right. I remember they were quite big, quite huge. They can't be two. I think they. I think it's three, three if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I can't recall. Um, so I guess. I remember. I clearly remember. It can't be just two. Two, two slot no i'm sure they take out three three so because of the um capacity can you say capacity okay so different drop ships you, you you will have different um different space all right uh yeah right now i'm still using charlie because i i'm i'm pushing out to to win the air battle i'm making a lot of jets now a, a lot of mar marauders uh, but at this moment traveling traveling around is taking too long so i'm also considering to set up crap 2 as a as a base for unit or maybe crap 4 or crap 3 as well yeah okay, i'm just trying to conserve my funds and allocate all into production manufacturing out things for the soldiers i'll make more jets now okay um Hang on, let me see. Uh, I have 70 space here. Yes. So I'm going to use 15, 15, 15. That should be 45. So I can allocate soldiers here. So base 
two crap two can be my next base for soldier so i can at least um capture those alien crashes here what about crap zero three yes i do i even have a storeroom here okay might i might consider but my focus right now is to get crap zero five up and running okay so okay let's see mac carbine in production only yep because i want this marauder to to get out in four within four days time so one marauder one marauder one marauder one marauder hey not bad so wait so but then once i built the radar radar is 250 I don't think I don't think I have enough funds then. It looks like I need to sell off some some stuff from um, aluminium or aluminium alloy. Hang on. So alright. Yep. I mean vehicles for the garage I'll build it somewhere at the end of the game. Um Oh crap, I really don't have enough funds to do to do some stuff okay because right now um crap zero five is 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 live now okay but there's no nothing this is your command center all right there's there's nothing so if i start to build radar 250 so expensive that means i have only about what 100 100k plus if i'm not mistaken okay because if i have 100k plus then I don't think my marauder. I can't build my marauder anymore. Uh, so let me see. It's seventeen April. Uh, um. I think to be safe, I because I'm a, I'm afraid that because I don't. It's, there's no radar now, so you won't be able to detect those UFO, UFOs flying around. Okay, there's don't yeah what, what, once you don't have radar you you there's no point even you have jets i think i'm not too sure okay even if i build a hangar i'm not sure whether can i can i still it, it, it can only support crap crap zero two and crap zero four i think i won't be able to protect this area because unable no radar unable to detect ufo uh I want to set this up, but at the same time, I would like a Shrike dropship. Mm, so I can transfer my Charlie over because it's just two continent relatively Charlie can reach on time. But this is one big area. Ah, crap. Talk about fund management. Yep. Um, yeah, so, um, okay, that's, that's this is the video i mean this is the video <laughs> for uh, explaining the current situation uh yeah i mean so so okay just just to recap okay so this is the state of the world now i mean okay uh, making a video would definitely be more interesting more fun you know but the downside of it it's it's more work okay because um Oh, I hope my voice is okay and um, there's no construction work. I mean, renovation works going on now. Um, I have to do some video editing, maybe some s post processing for the audio. And more works for me to do so that I can uh, add to, to make it an okay video for the rest of the my art members to 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 view and enjoy as well. Um, so yeah, I guess this will be a, a, a start for the video and uh, in the next mission once I go, I'll slowly be recording uh, with reaction and voice. Um, I'm not sure whether I'll be saving, reloading constantly because of the difficulty or the, the cheap difficulty. I'm not sure if did I mention this. Uh, because of the night visions, the limited um, the vision where your soldiers can't see far as compared to daytime missions and then with the uh, units 
placement around your chopper when you land okay uh, with, with the, the the sniper rifles and rpg getting you know blown to bits opening doors just rpg there and things like that uh, there's a lot of death actually <laughs> there's a lot of wound uh, i mean um you're going to see a lot of soldiers getting wounded and stuff like that um yeah because i just you know it's still early in the late game now there's my my soldiers are all uh, still getting the stuff only one one soldier i only had one sentinel battlefield i mean sentinel bat the uh, sentinel armor and one mag mag rifle Okay, I only have... Wait, who's using it? Ah, okay. Mag rifle and I'm building one mag carbine. So I still don't have enough... Uh, Sentinel, I still don't have enough funds. See, the funds is important, that's why I said... Okay, I need to make... I need to produce more mags now. I need to make more marauders. Okay, I need to build up... Oh, oh, oh. Crab zero five, ah, so frustrating. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'll I'll end it. I'll end this video here. I need to do a lot of processing and video editing works later on. Um, hopefully, my art members will enjoy it, will understand. Okay, um, and hopefully those uh, people who have played Zeno on Zeno on, yeah, yeah, I'm sure you all understand the situation. I mean, you all been through that before. It's very difficult. Okay, we just have to persevere and pray to Lady Luck uh, or Constance reloading. <laughs> uh, and for the general public who don't game, um, I'm not sure. I hope you enjoy the video. Maybe view, seeing some of the gameplay footage, you might be interested in having a go as Dina Ons. Um, aside from Firaxis, triple a company xcom you know xcom enemy unknown they, they did such a good job but that doesn't mean go hawks uh xeno on it, it, it's not good it is good it's just that it's very different feel and this feel follows more towards the original uh, xcom franchise the 2d turn-based strategy uh, so yeah, oh, I'm 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 really hoping that you know maybe those general the general public they they will enjoy the video and they might have interest to try out Zeno ons. All right, so all right, I'm gonna end here. I'm going to do a lot of uh, base management and thinking, and let's see what crap mission I'm going to end up with. All right, ciao.